Hi everybody, welcome back to my backyard. Today I'm gonna review a product I'm super curious about because it's the Gepard C Cinelog 30. And actually I'm in love with his little brother, the Cinelog 25, and I think he's the best sub-250 Cinewhoop drone. So let's see if this one holds up to it. And before we dive into this, please remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Help me grow this channel. Another way of helping the channel is, if you have to buy anything, go in the description and click on the affiliated links. Also, you get a discount, so everybody wins. Also, in the description below, you will find an updated coupon spreadsheet from Banggood. Clicking on that, you will find all the latest FPV discounts. And try it, maybe you will save some money. Come on, cat. <laughs> Let's see what's in the box. Boom. Oh my, oh my god, I made a mess. Beautiful drone comes in a premium plastic wrap, so it's protected. A couple of spare ducts and a couple of spare bumpers. Extra set of propellers, and these are HQ 3x3x3, very nice propellers. And then we have a bag with all the accessories. Inside the bag there is extra screws and the hex key to turn them. Antenna tubes, double-sided tape for the bumpers, a pair each of bottom landing foam, and battery pads, extra battery strap, and lastly 3D printed pieces. This is camera protection, this is the long range antenna mount, and this I don't have any clue what this is for. Let's open the drone and see the specs. Oh my god, this plastic is very hard. Oh my god. I'm gonna get a knife. Smells like you. Boom! That's a big boy right here, but actually it should still be sub 250 grams with the camera and the battery. Can't wait to try it. And now let's look at the specs. So we have 3 inch propellers powered by 1404 motors from Gepard C. They are 3850 kV and these motors are powered by a F4 flight controller all-in-one with 35 amps BLLES. Yes, I have the digital option with the Polar Pro camera with a Cadex Vista of course and this very nice little lightweight antenna. And the weight of this drone without battery is 158 grams. I'm gonna put my receiver in and we're gonna take it for a spin. Boom! I installed my receiver in it, also I put the rubber tape and the foam tape at the back and I noticed something weird, look at this. The propellers are sticking out a bit, out of the duct. Nothing crazy, a couple of millimeters but... That's not the best because you're gonna scratch your tips of the propellers first and second. It's not the most efficient. You ideally want the propellers to be inside the duct, not a little bit outside. It's nothing crazy. Uh, we're gonna test it. So, let's fly with it and let's see how it goes. And I'm gonna fly with a 650 milliamps battery. Let's put it in agro and let's go. First of all, Oh my god. Seems to fly very stable. Almost, oh my god. Almost, almost like a toothpick, I would say. Very good. Very, very good. A, a little bit of jello, that's weird. Little, little bit. Yeah, but look at it. Flies like a toothpick again. Very nice, controllable. Yeah, I like. Oh my god! <laughs> Hi. This is my dog. He doesn't bother. <laughs> yeah, this drone is very silent. Talking about not bothering. If you fly slow. Maybe it's not as silent as the uh, Cinelog 25. Also, the ducts are not inside totally, the, um, the props are not totally inside the ducts, as I told you, so maybe that's the reason. But it's one of the quietest anyways. It doesn't whine, for sure, also it's a 3 inch. It's very good. Also, if you fly slow, it's quite efficient, I would say. Not bad. This is my grandma's car, because she's back in the basement. Summer has not ended yet. Oh my god. 
And if you watch the video about the 5 inch yesterday, you see how much better I'm flying with this thing now because I'm not used to that 6S power. These ones are much more controllable, I would say. Look at this. You can do stuff because... Oh my god. You're not scared with these little things, you know? Also, it's very precise. Very, very precise. Pulls up quite fast. Of course, it's a cine whoop, but for a cine whoop, I mean, I'm, I'm flying acro and I'm flying a quite good acro, I would say. You can do split tests around stuff. Now I'm gonna crash it, of course. But for flying in the gap. Yeah, of course, you crash, you're done. First impressions. I'm very impressed by the way it flies. You saw the control I had, it's, it's good, it pulls up quick. You have a lot of control. Also, it doesn't destroy your battery. And we were flying acro, like, quite aggressive. Also quite efficient. Uh, probably you can go for four minutes, like I was doing. And if you cruise, you're gonna go for six, seven minutes, maybe even eight minutes with this thing which is crazy. But also we saw one con about this pusher design. We crashed inside the grass and there was no way of pulling up out of this tall of grass. So yeah, if you crash, you're gonna have to stand up and go get your drone back. And now let's put a GoPro on it and see if the dampening system is as good as his little brother, the Cinelog 25. And remember, Cinelog 25, no ND filter, no nothing, does not have any jello. If this accomplishes the same thing, very nice drone to buy. Boom! I added the GoPro and it looks kind of nice, red and red, but I also weighed it and with the 650 milliamps battery from uh, Tatu, it weighs 259 grams, which is too much, it's not sub 250. Also, because we have the receiver, this drone, they say it's sub 250, but you have first to remove the receiver and second, you have to use their own batteries, which are 600 milliamps ATC, and with those, you are just sub 250 grams. Here I have a 450 4S. I'm gonna use this. With this one is 240 grams. Uh, maybe you can still fly with the 650 batteries. Maybe you can cut this wire, cut it short because this is kind of heavy. I don't suggest removing the capacitor maybe. And for sure if you change the motor with 1204, I don't know how it's gonna fly but for sure you're gonna be sub 250 grams. Maybe another way of removing weight is remove a couple of screws per motor. It's not the best, but maybe it works. Remove all the extra stuff. But still, this is a pretty efficient drone, so let's try with the 450 and let's see where this leads. Maybe you can buy a 500 milliamps, 550 milliamps, and you can still be sub 250 grams. So, Activated. let's go. So now we are flying the 450 milliamps and yeah, you don't want to push too much on the throttle. I mean, it works very nice. Of course, the drone is very light, maneuvers good, and you can do everything you want. Just don't bash it too much because the 450 doesn't like it. And you don't know it, but it's the third time I try to do this flight because every time I keep crashing and crashing and crashing and I have to reset eventually. <laughs> Never happened to me. This is the first time I have to do shots three times. Because at one point the battery starts sucking and it doesn't pull up anymore, that's why. But it's holding up good so far. And I can already tell you, you're gonna be able to fly a couple of... I gotta... I gotta scratch my arm so bad because uh, a bug bite bit me. And yeah, as I was telling you, two, two and a half minutes of hard dripping with the, for, not super hard dripping, with the 200, 450 milliamps. If you cruise, maybe, maybe you're gonna get to four minutes because this drone is kind of efficient if you don't push it. But I wanna push it, <laughs> for the review at least. Then when you go and do videos, you're gonna be flying like this. Maybe you're gonna fly in a house or in a hotel and stuff like that. You're gonna 
be flying slow and doing very slow maneuvers like this. 450 is nice to do that. And also you have a couple of options if you want something bigger. You can get a 500, 550 milliamps and still be sub 250 grams. You can fly a 650, 850 and be not sub 250 grams. Maybe it's not a limitation where you live. Um, you have another option again. DJ Goggles card full. Oh man, today is crazy. Okay, so we still have the GoPro. And I was telling you, yeah, you can wait to reduce this drone. Maybe I'm gonna try switching to the 12 fourths as I was telling you. And maybe with those motors, we're gonna be able to be sub 250 grams. Uh, right now we are at 14.1 volts and I need to land 2 minutes 43, as I was telling you. Maybe we can go a little bit more, but pretty much done. Yeah, let's go. So, wrapping up this review. This drone, I'm not even impressed with it. I mean, I already knew it was very, very good. Flies perfect, nothing to say. It's very efficient, powerful, not noisy. There is no jello in the GoPro footage, of course, this system from Gepard no problem with it. I would say it's perfect if it was 10 grams lighter. Gepard make a lighter version of this, I don't know, strip it. It's 9, 10 grams lighter, basically. Maybe I'm gonna try removing the extra stuff like the foam, the couple of screws per motor, shorten the wire, remove the capacitor, I don't know what I can do to make it a little bit better. And maybe strip the Cadex Vista, yeah, that's gonna for sure remove a lot of weight. Gepard C should try and make lighter motors, maybe, I don't know, 1304, 1403, or maybe 1404, but try to make them lighter, I don't know how, and shave like 3 grams per motor, we are there. We are at full sub 250 grams with a reasonable battery. Because 450 milliamps battery, yeah, you can fly it and it works, but it's not the best, of course. I'm gonna always use a 650 milliamps on this one. Right now, these two, in my opinion, are the best cine hoops you can get. This, if you wanna be always sub 250 grams, is incredible, also it's small, and I use it every day. This one I'm gonna add to my backpack and see how it goes, but Flies very good, it's a little bit more powerful, you have more control and it's a little bit more efficient than the Cinelog 25, but you have the caveat, it's not super, super, super sub 250 grams. Not bad though. And also I know a lot of people in the comments are gonna ask to put a full size GoPro on it. I'm gonna try, but I know Gepard C is making a Cinelog 35, which is made to carry Hero 9 and I'm very curious about that, also because I'm probably getting the Hero 10 soon. So we're gonna try that as well. And as always, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Links in the description if you wanna buy something. Stay safe and happy flying. Bye.